Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Nashville Senior Tech Correspondent Ray Wong, and today we're gonna check out the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Samsung's Galaxy Note has always been a one-size-fits-all phone, but not this year. For 2019, Samsung's releasing two new Notes, a 6.3-inch Galaxy Note 10 and a 6.8-inch Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Like past Galaxy Notes, the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus are powerhouse Android phones designed for working on the go. That means the new phones have staple features like big screens, an S Pen, long battery life, fast performance, and powerful cameras. Let's start with similarities first, because there are many. Samsung says both phones are the thinnest and lightest Galaxy Notes ever. In true Samsung fashion, the glass display curves at the edges and bleeds into the metal frame. This time around, the front and back glass better merge into the frame and the top and bottoms of the phone have been flattened out. It's a nice, clean, and symmetrical look. The power buttons move to the left side, below the volume buttons, and the Bixby buttons no more. The phones come in a variety of colors, including Aura White, Aura Black, and Aura Blue. But the prettiest is easily the Aura Glow, which has an iridescent finish and shifts between different colors depending on how light hits it. Though they're two different sizes, the screens on both Note 10s are equally stunning. Samsung shaved down the thickness of the bezels on all sides so that both phones are basically all screen. Both displays are dynamic AMOLED and support HDR Plus and are extremely bright and vibrant. There's just a single round cutout for a 10 megapixel selfie camera at the top of the display. Samsung calls this the Infinity O display, and I personally think it looks better than any notch or hole punch on the side. Both phones are also powered by the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chip. Compared to the Note 9, the Note 10s have up to 33% faster CPU performance and up to 42% more powerful graphics power. Like the Galaxy S10s, the Note 10s run Android 9 Pie with Samsung's lovely One UI skin. Needless to say, One UI is super fast and smooth. Both Note 10s also share fast LTE and support the new super fast Wi-Fi 6 protocol. The biggest change everyone's going to notice is that the headphone jack is gone. Yep, after years of keeping the headphone jack, the Note 10s are Samsung's first flagship phones to remove the audio port. Samsung says it needs to kill the headphone jacks in order to fit bigger batteries into such slim phones. On the rear, the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus share mostly the same triple camera system. There's a 12 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera. These should produce photos similar to shots from the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. The only difference is that the Note 10 Plus has a fourth time of flight camera. There aren't many uses for this small 3D camera yet, but Samsung says it'll be useful for AR. By far, the most fun new camera feature is live focus video. You can think of it like portrait mode, but for video. With live focus video, you can blur out the background and apply different background filters to make videos more interesting. There are several live focus video filters to mess with. Color point is my favorite. It looks for faces and keeps a person in color while the background is turned to black and white. The glitch filter is also fun and gives your footage a cassette tape-like vibe. Okay, now for the major differences. Obviously, one phone's bigger and one phone's smaller. Despite getting used to big phones, I found myself liking the smaller Note 10 a lot more. It's about as wide as an iPhone XS and only a bit taller. It's far easier to use in one hand and slips into your pocket easier. The Note 10 Plus also comes with more RAM and additional storage configurations. Though both phones will come with 256GB of base storage, the Note 10 only shipped with 8GB of RAM compared to the Note 10 Plus's 12GB of RAM. The Note 10 Plus is also available in another model with 512GB of storage and 12GB of RAM for an extra $100. And speaking of storage, the Note 10 Plus is the only one with a micro SD card slot. Lastly, if you want 5G, it'll only be sold as a special Note 10 Plus version. There's no 5G for the smaller Note 10. So that's the hardware for the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. But what's new for the S Pen? For one, the stylus itself is now more durable with a unibody design. As for features, there's not a whole lot. The two main ones are handwriting to text conversion and AR Doodle. Converting handwriting to text has existed on Galaxy Notes before but Samsung says it's now using machine learning to detect and convert 62 different languages. In my brief test on a pre-production Note 10, the conversion still needs some work. On the right side, the Note 10 lets you export converted handwriting to text notes directly as Microsoft Word, PDF, text and image files. AR Doodle, on the other hand, is mostly a fun feature. 
Using the S Pen, you can draw on your face and have the doodles move with you. It's so silly, yet strangely entertaining. There are a couple of other S Pen features like new remote controls for the camera and a native video editor, but that's really it. The big question is which Note 10 should you get? Who should buy the small one and who should get the big one? Samsung says it made two sizes to offer choice. If you already own a previous Note and still want the biggest screen, you'll probably get the Note 10 Plus. But if you're new to the Galaxy Note, want the S Pen, but maybe still want a smallish phone, the Note 10 is the better option. Either way, both Note 10s appear to be top-notch phones. Sure, there's no crazy pop-up cameras or insane zoom lenses like on other Android phones, but that's fine because longer battery life is maybe more useful. The Note 10s come out on August 23rd. The Note 10 starts at $949 and the Note 10 Plus at $1099. So there you go, that's the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10. We've got some new S Pen features, new camera features, more power, longer battery life, but no headphone jack. What do you guys think about that? Catch you guys next time.